Now, now it's time to get this new template ready to be used. Let me just fold up this whole image folder because we're done with that now. All right, so uh, the first thing that I need to put on here is I need to decide which areas I want to be editable, which just means the areas that I want to be able to put unique content in on each page. And I think I'll just have an editable region here in this left-hand column. So I'm going to highlight that and insert template object and editable region. And I'll just leave it named edit region 3. Matter of fact, these names, if I'm going to, if this template is going to replace an existing template, these edit region names need to be exactly the same as the previous one. So there's my edit region 3 and edit region 4 on the previous template. I'm going to do the same thing on this template, at least name these the same thing. So I'm going to put one here as well. And just let it be named edit region 4. I like to leave these names kind of generic because uh, just for this reason I don't have to remember the names. Okay, so um, let me just fix this title here. So I have something there other than what it was. Alright, so now I've made some changes here to the template. Let me get those saved. Um, now I'm ready to use this template on either existing pages or on new pages. So let's just come over here and see what we have. Um, there's my index page. Let me just open that up quick uh, and take a look at it. Okay, so this um, index page, at least this page I've just been starting on, um, it already has the template applied to it, that main template you can see across the top here. It says this, this was created by a template and the name of that template was main template. So uh, I want to use my new template on this page and it's all I need to do is I'm going to switch to the assets tab and come down to the template category here and my template's not showing up there yet. I'm just going to click refresh down here to tell Dreamweaver to go take another look and hopefully it finds my new, my new template, the one called layout. Now uh, to get this new template to override this template called main template, I'm just going to click up here in a little preview window, drag and drop it out here and because those editable regions are named the same thing, the content inside that ed editable region is protected um, but everything outside of it is replaced um, by this new template. So just as easy as that, I'm able to get my new layout onto an existing page made from a different template. Let me just save that and close it. Um, let me just try that one more time. I'm just going to see if I can find another page here quick. I'm going to get the About Me page open. You can see this was made with a, with a previous template. Uh, switch to that Assets panel. Come down to the Template section here in the assets panel and just drag and drop that layout template right onto this page and sure enough it replaces everything except for what's inside these editable regions. Um, again, crucial that those regions be named the same thing on the on the original template and on this subsequent template. If not, you'll get a funny message uh, that will pop up that may help you get your con protect your content. Okay, so that's the way I get this done on existing pages, but um, I can see that I've got some new pages here uh, that I'm going to need to create. Like I need a page to hold my homework, a parent page, a student page. Um, so I need, I need at least three more pages here. So let me just save and close this stuff. Um, all right, so to get these new pages created, I'm going to come over to my local root folder and just control click or right click right in the folder where I want these new files to be stored. So I need a homework page. I'm just going to uh, right click, choose new folder, new file, I'm sorry, drop in a new HTML, give it a name, there's my homework one, double click on that, get it opened up. I'm going to get all three done at the same time. New folder, uh, let's see, I needed a parent page. Get that one open up. And just one more quick here, a student's page. Okay. All right, so now I've got those three pages open. You can see they're sort of stacked up there. And to get the template applied to them, I'm going to switch to the Assets panel, and I'm just dragging and dropping. So I just drag out there, and I can put a little content in, um, just so I can tell it apart. Okay, so the student page is created, has my template applied to it. Save that, close that one. Um, there's the parents page. 
same thing. It's okay. Save that, close that, and the homework page. Okay. Okay, so there are my three new pages created. I'm not going to worry about putting the content on them yet. All right, so I've got the three new pages created, but um, these links, if I were to preview this now, um, these links across the top here on this new page, they do not work yet. And now I have six, seven, eight pages maybe um, that work that look like this and have this new navigation on them, but there's no way for my visitor to actually get to these pages. Those links are not active. So when I go up here to try to set these links, um, my cursor uh, tells me I'm not allowed to do that. And that is just because I'm not on the template. I'm still on one of my uh, individual pages, uh, homework page. So I'm going to just get this closed. And now I'm on my template. And this is the spot where I can make these links. So I'm just going to select that graphic come down to the property bar and find the link field and there's a little pointer on the end this little pick whip it's called a point it says point to file so I'm just going to click and drag that and I look okay I'm over the calendar I can move up there and place my, put the pointer right on the page I wanted to link to that one's done go to homework just let me just do these quick here so without too much trouble I can relink these and go to students, contact me about, and the last one back to the home page, which is the index page. Okay, so um, before I test this, I don't think I've applied the template to all my all my new pages. Let me just save these changes. You can see I've only applied this new template to this set of pages. So I'm going to check that quick here. So I'm going to let this update happen, which means it'll my template's going to send out those changes to these five pages. Um, but I'm going to get all of these open, and a quick way to get all of these open is just to select them all, push return, and they all come open. Okay, and I can quickly check. Okay, so students, good. Oh, this is the resources page. That's the old style. So I'm going to switch to assets, drop the new one onto it. Okay, that one's good. Save it and close it. There's the parents page. That one's good. Close it. There's this one called mock up. That one's, I can delete that here in a minute. Um, there's the homework page. That one's good. There's the documents page. I'll drag and drop that one there. Okay, save and close that one. There's the contact page. I need the template applied to that one. Save and close that. Um, my calendar page needs the new template. Drag and drop. Save and close. The assignments page needs the new template. Just drag and drop. Good. Close that. The About Me page is already done. Close that. And then I just need to make sure the index page. There's the index page. That one's ready to go. And close that. Can close the template. Okay, now I can see, uh, let me just clean this up. This mockup.html, I can delete that. Yep, I want to delete that. Um, okay, now uh, let's do a quick test here. I'm going to open back up the index page and I'm going to preview it here in the browser because I think I've got the template applied to all my pages and I have um, made all the updates. So let me just pull this little preview out here. Now I should be able to get a pretty good test. So as I click on these links, I should be able to navigate from page to page. So there's my calendar, homework page, parents page. Oh, that doesn't seem quite, oh, there it is. Just took a sec, student page, contact me page, about page, and back to the home page. So you can see um, this is a pretty easy way to get a little, um, nicer graphical interface or layout built for your website using fireworks. Now we did just, uh, we use fireworks uh, and its capabilities that have been around for quite a while. Being able to slice up your layout, make an HTML file, create an HTML table, uh, set up your graphics uh, inside those tables, um, and, and that works great. Um, this new version of Dreamweaver, uh, I mean, sorry, this new version of Fireworks, CS4, now has the capabilities not only to slice up your image or your layout, it has the ability to, to, to output um, a, a nice CSS-based layout. Now, um, 
those are the tutorials I'll start working on soon. Um, I've got one more here on how to update your layout if you want to make some changes, which I will do next.